Travel back with us, back through the veils of time to the mid-18th century. Imagine the captivating beauty of Southern Africa, spattered with vibrant cultures coexisting in an age of discovery and tradition. Amidst the captivating kaleidoscope of tribes, one tribe commands our attention, the Langini. In this tribe, a woman was born, a woman of rare charm and intellect, destined to etch her name in golden letters on the scroll of time, Queen Nandi. Her character was sculpted from the iron of determination and the steel of an unbeatable will. Rare qualities indeed flooding against the norm, shattering gender boundaries fixed by societal expectations of the time. As a child, she was fiery and resolute. As a woman, her strength became legendary. She was an elegant enigma, a tantalizing testament to feminine strength and royal charisma. In the bloom of her life, Nandi, radiant as the African sun, came across Senzungakona Kajama, the suave chief of the powerful Zulu tribe, his aura patronizing and commanding, yet it was a match met, a fire meeting a fire. The chemistry ignited passionately and intensely. Their relationship was as unpredictable as an African savanna fire. It blazed with a passion that consumed all in its path before dying down as quickly as it had started. Their liaison was more than just a casual fling. It did not merely highlight the patriarchal culture of the time, but also engraved love onto each other's heart, a love that would bear precious fruit, a son, a symbol of their fiery love. However, poisoned by societal norms and traditional expectations, Senzangakona, trepidation grasping his heart, refused to choose love over societal acceptance. He denied Nandi the position she deserved as his wife, befitting the brave mother of his child. This episode of her life did not overshadow her resilience, but further highlighted her strength. She returned to her native tribe not as the defeated but as the victorious, achieving something their tribal chief could not, deliver a future leader of the Zulu tribe. Betrayed by the man she loved deeply, Nandi was neither weakened nor humiliated. Instead, she made sure that this story became one of empowerment, strength, and a beacon of hope. She showed that even in the face of societal oppression and judgment, a woman could emerge victorious if she stood steadfast in her beliefs. Shunned by society, Nandi sought refuge back with her native tribe. Even in this desolation, she bore her circumstances with stoic dignity. The adversity helped forge a spirit as tough as African ebony, preparing her for the task ahead. In the ripeness of 1787 summer, another Langeni warrior was born. Shaka, the newborn son of Nandi and Senzangakona, arrived into this world. Nandi, now a single mother, faced the challenge of nurturing him in an environment as sparse as the Kalahari. But Nandi loved Shaka beyond measure. It was his cradle, her courage, his fountainhead of metal, and her teaching, an invaluable beacon sheathing him amidst the darkness of hardship and ostracism. As he grew, so did her strength. It was this impenetrable bond between them that would lay the foundation for a future king, with an insurmountable spirit akin to his mother's. Nandi, knowing the hardships they faced, took the onus onto herself, raising a king to lead her tribe. She witnessed her young Shaka taking his initial unsure steps into the world of manhood and took upon herself to guide him. Nandi taught Shaka the value of bravery, of standing resolute even in the face of danger. She trained him in the guileful art of leadership, precisely how to navigate the intricate labyrinth of power and people. Nandi instilled in her son the spark of command and the propensity for strategy. Day after day they would train. She would impart lessons of wisdom interspersed with teachings of warfare. Slowly but surely Shaka transformed, growing not just in physique but also in mind and spirit. A change was palpable as the young boy evolved into a de facto leader, ready to lead, ready to be a king. Nandi could see it. She had meticulous sown the seeds of courage and strategy in her son. 
and from this careful cultivation blossomed a leader, who not only would steer the Zulu kingdom onto a path of greatness, but also cement his place as one of the formidable forces in military history. The tides of time were turning into a tremendous delta, where destiny and ambition made a confluence upon whose shores the future of Zulu tribe lay. Nandi had succeeded. Guided by the wisdom his mother bestowed upon him, Shaka grew both physically and intellectually. He developed into an extraordinary military strategist, as his mother's teachings took shape in his preternatural ability to devise tactics and envisage combat scenarios that few others could even comprehend. His strategic prowess was unparalleled within the clan, and with time his aptitude started garnering attention beyond his small circle. Instilled with courage, tested with adversaries, and powered by the doctrines of his beloved mother, his horizon expanded leaps and bounds. He embarked on an ambitious campaign to unite scattered Zulu clans under a single flag, a powerful kingdom that would be a testament to the strength of his people. Overnight, the scion of Queen Nandi transformed into a beacon of leadership, pulling tribes in from all corners. Every conquered tribe was one step closer to Shaka, actualizing his mother's long-nurtured vision. The seeds, once sowed in a cabin, began to flourish in the fertile soil of a burgeoning kingdom. The sapling was growing into a mighty tree. Shaka stood tall amongst his people, embodying the dreams of Queen Nandi, slowly and steadily painting the reflections of a vigorous reality onto the canvases of his impending realm. A leader was stirring amidst the integral unity of the Zulu clans. Shaka, now bearing the hefty crown of leadership on his young shoulders, had come a long way from his humble cradle. Each day he walked a step into the unknown, crossing every hurdle with might and metal, carrying the unburnt torch of his mother's lessons. He led charge after charge, each attack leaving an indelible mark of his exceptional strategy and command all under the watchful eyes of his mother. The echoes of his victories, reverberating across the golden plains, met the elated ears keenly listening in corners far and near. The inspirational tales spun around the mother-son duo became folk legends. Yet amongst this narrative of success lay an unwavering titan. In the backdrop of her son's unfolding greatness stood Nandi a woman of exemplary courage and inviolable conviction. A warrior queen in her own right. She stood tall like an unbreakable pillar of strength and support for her son, ready to face any enemy that dared to threaten her progeny or her people. Onlookers might miss the subtle strain in her posture, or the stern determination in her eyes. Still, none could ignore the radiant glow radiating from her, as she held her spear high towards the sky, symbolically asserting her presence, claiming both the battlefield and her destiny. Each stirring narrative of Shaka's successes twined inseparably with Nandi's story. A stalwart mother ever ready to lay down her life for the safety of her son and her people. Delve into the spiritual essence of Queen Nandi, a fearless queen wreathed not only in the garb of leadership, but also steeped in the deep-seated faith intrinsic to Zulu traditions. Among her many attributes, her fervor for ancestral worship made her a spiritual fulcrum, a connecting link between the mortal and the divine. Her soul danced with an ethereal strength, echoing the thrum of ancestral drums, while echoing a silent hymn of ancient Zulu mantras. The rhythm of her faith resonated with her tribe as she emerged as a spiritual beacon, lighting their paths with her aura. Reverence for the ancestors flowed through her veins, carving an emblem of devotion and harmony, not just on her soul, but also in her realm. Her spiritual vitality brought her closer to her people. Their adherence to Zulu faith deepened with each ritual she led, strengthening their bond with the elders beyond the mortal. Her leadership transcended the temporal plane, invoking divinity and ancestral guidance to lead her people. This was Nandi, a woman of spiritual depth and sacrosanct energy, 
captivating her tribe through their shared ancestral lineage, dictating the pulse of their collective spiritual evolution. Diving deeper into the spiritual instincts of Queen Nandi, we find her spirit intimately woven within the cosmic tapestry of Zulu traditional religion. A staunch devotee of ancestral wisdom and guidance, she possessed an innate ability to communicate beyond the tangible world into the realm of spirits. Her beliefs, sturdy like the ancient Baobab tree, stood resilient against time and worldly transitions. Her people watched in awe, their eyes shining with reverence as she transcended mundane boundaries during sacred rituals. A powerful intermediary. Bridging the spiritual realm with the world of mortals, she was often found extending her spiritual connection for the welfare of her tribe. Prayers would kiss her lips as she sought divine protection, prosperity, and triumph for her people and her son. Bathed in the golden glow of firelight, she invoked the ancestors, her voice a melodic chant syncing with the timeless rhythm of drums, creating a mystic aura that was truly Nandi's own. Her eyes would close, her body sway, as she accepted profound insights from her ancestral spirits. Deep within this spiritual trance, she fortified the spiritual armor of King Shaka and their people, embedding celestial favor into their earthly war victories and societal successes. Beneath the glimmering veil of royalty, a motherly heart bloomed within Queen Nandi, a heart that extended its nurturing embrace not merely to her son, but the entire Zulu tribe. Her perceived severity was softened by acts of benignity and generosity that were etched on the scaffolding of her rule, making her reign an epitome of compassionate leadership. Earning their bread under the fiercest of suns or the harshest of rains, the common folk thrived under Nandi's shade. Hunger, a frequent visitor in many a humble Zulu home, was sent scampering when Queen Nandi played the savior. As if the sky had rained grains instead of drops, she distributed food to the less privileged, becoming their ray of hope in the gloomy world of destitution. Compassion wasn't merely an attribute for her, but a duty she wore proudly on her royal sleeves. Humility bridged the gapping chasms between the queen and her people. Respect for her grew not out of fear for a crown, but love for a queen whose heart echoed their struggles and strived to ease their pain. Queen Nandi, for the Zulus, was more than just a queen. She was an Earth Mother, a guiding star in their cosmos of daily strife, lighting up their world with acts of kindness that resonated through generations. Queen Nandi, undeterred by the inscription of time and the layers of personal hardships etched on her life, radiated an ever-vibrant loyalty towards her son, Shaka. Hers was a love, mighty and unflinching, like the timeless Baobab tree that braves the African desert's relentless whirlwinds. With each twist and turn of Shaka's voyage towards becoming the king, Nandi stood like a rock, her spirit unbroken, her resolve unfettered. During the battles, her heart echoed the clashing spears and the warrior cries. Each wound Shaka suffered was a gash in her heart, each victory a melodious song that made her spirit dance. She was not a mere spectator in the unfolding saga of Shaka's life. She was a steadfast star, illuminating his path to glory with her transcendent spirit, unwavering beliefs, and indomitable resilience. When fatigue threatened to dim Shaka's flame after defeating numerous tribes, Nandi was the fuel that reignited the beacon of his determination. Her faith in his destiny never wavered, even when cloaked in uncertainty and shrewded in despair. When he was besieged by doubts, she was the lotus ta guiding him out of the stormy seas of confusion. The bond between them was more than motherly love. It was an immortal testament to their invincible spirit and unyielding will. With every onset of defeat, Nandi nursed her son, not only healing his physical scars, but also renewing his courage and strengthening his will to conquer. Her compassion during these times painted a holistic portrait, a testimonial to pure mother's love 
thriving amidst calamity and upheaval. Through every ebb and flow of Shaka's journey, Nandi remained an unshakable pillar of strength and a boundless reservoir of love and faith, a cradle that rocked the future king into the legend he would become. Mother and son, their fates entwined, they stood as the mirrored reflections of unwavering resolve and enduring love. In the thriving heart of the Zulu kingdom, a figure commanded respect and admiration, not just for her crown, but for the spirited character she embodied. Queen Nandi, a splendid amalgamation of a warrior, spiritual guide, mother, and empathetic leader. An eminent facet of her persona was her spirituality, a deep reverence for ancestral spirits that resonated with every heartbeat of her people. Nevertheless, her identity was not solely intertwined with the spirits. Nandi also heaved a heart full of compassion, her every word and action echoing her inherent empathy. Revered by people far and wide, she was cherished by her subjects for the love she extended beyond her own kin. Her motherhood was not confined within the realm of her son, Shaka. It enveloped the entire tribe, nurturing their hearts with maternal warmth. Her love and concern navigated beyond familial ties, encompassing every Zulu into her realm of motherhood. Be it tender smiles exchanged with children, or respectful bows reciprocated to elderly, her connection with each person was poignant, making her the Zulu's irreplaceable matriarch. Moreover, Nandi demonstrated unwavering strength and courage as a warrior queen bearing responsibilities of a vast territory. She was a reservoir of inspiration that germinated seeds of bravery amongst her people. Striding through the trusts of life with dignity and fortitude, she ended up epitomizing resilience and command as facets invariably associated with her reign. Words don't suffice to articulate each dimension of Nandi's persona. Her impactful aura was an experience breathing life into the soul of Zulu society, radiating an energy that galvanized their loyalty and unflinching devotion towards their queen, an emblem of spiritual power, empathy, courage, and love that was indelible in the annals of Zulu history. As Nandi danced towards the twilight of her life, her influence remained as potent as the life-giving African sun that nourished and cherished the soil of the Zulu kingdom. Stalwartly, Queen Nandi had weathered every storm that life had hurled upon her, her strength seeping into the very core of the Zulu kingdom, strengthening its roots and fostering its growth. Her working hands were not merely embellished with the ceremonial rings of her status, but they also bore the calluses of hard work, not just in raising her son, but fostering a kingdom. Her influences were like the life-giving monsoon, under whose gentle touch the barren lands blossomed. She, through her determination and resilience, had infused these undying values into the fabric of Zulu kingdom. Queen Nandi had sown the seeds of courage and bravery in Shaka, not just as a king, but for every individual of her kingdom. Her teachings weren't on parchments or penned in ink, but were etched in life and living. As the shadows lengthened and Nandi stepped towards the final act of her life's play, she was immortalized with an untold legacy, a legacy powerful and inspiring, audacious yet compassionate, a legacy that formed the backbone of a thriving kingdom. The Queen's vision now lived on in her people, in their culture, their valor, their sense of community. In unison, they burgeoned towards undeniable prosperity and unity, celebrating Nandi's indomitable spirit, even in her receding presence. The solemn year of 1827 witnessed an event that caused many hearts in the mighty Zulu kingdom to miss a beat. The realms of eternity peacefully claimed the indomitable Queen Nandi. Although frailty and age may have claimed her earthly existence, her spirit proved invincible. 
unyielding to life's ultimate finale, her legacy steadfastly refused to bow before the inevitable mortality all humans are destined towards. Her essence, an inseparable part of the Zulu psyche, carried on, breathing life into the hearts of her people and fortifying the strong backbone of the mighty kingdom she helped sculpt and nurture. The queen was no more in flesh and blood, yet she engraved her name on the time-worn rocks of eternity. Her ideals and indomitable spirit continue to dwell within every crevice and corner of the Zulu kingdom, radiating strength, inspiring generations, pulsating with vitality like an endless river, both in the living world and the world beyond. Even after she bid adieu to the mortal realm, her undying spirit remained alive and pulsating in the heartbeat of the Zulu kingdom. Grandmothers whispered tales of her valor to wide-eyed children, warriors saluted her bravery, and mothers aspired to inherit her unwavering strength. Her teachings became the very moral fabric that interwove the tribe, ensuring their kinship and unity remained intact, even in adversity. The echoes of her indomitable spirit resonated through every heart, every hut, and every pasture, forever guiding them, like a lighthouse enduring the wrath of a ferocious storm, yet standing tall, emanating warmth and assurance. Her voice echoed not merely through words scribed in ancient scrolls, but through the wind that breathed life into the savannah, the rivers that nourished their land, and the sun that promised a new dawn. Her stories, rich with wisdom, were imprinted in the annals of tradition and reverberated in sacred worshipping rituals. Her legacy, preserved through oral tradition, served as a beacon guiding her people towards bravery, unity, and resilience. Queen Nandi was eternally engraved into the heart of the Zulu kingdom, not just as a queen, not only as a warrior, but as a luminary of indomitable strength, immeasurable compassion, and profound motherhood. She became a symbol, an anthem of resilience and powerful will that echoed throughout the valleys and across the rugged landscapes populated by her proud peoples. This anthem grew in volume and in substance, heard not just in the hearts of the Zulu folk of her time, but rippling through the generations, breathed into life each time a mother soothed a child, each time courage forced footfalls forward despite the mounting obstacles. Her story infused young women with defiant strength, encouraging them to ascend beyond societal constraints. For men, her tale was an exhortation, an appeal to respect, adore, and honor the feminine. Queen Nandi's story transformed from a tale whispered in hushed reverence to an anthem that inspired, invigorated, and ignited generations of Zulu men and women alike to harness their inner strength and move forward with heads held high, uplifted by her enduring spirit. Manifesting further glory to her already radiant legacy was her lion-hearted son, King Shaka Zulu. Taking to heart every instruction, every parable, every nuance of leadership, strategy, and benevolent rule his mother had instilled in him, he stepped forth into a realm that was forever shaped by Nandi's indomitable spirit. Built on the bedrock foundation Nandi laid, he propagated her teachings to every corner of his kingdom. Every decree made, every battle won, every life touched, bore the undeniable imprint of Nandi's guidance handed to him in his formative years. The kingdom didn't just thrive under his reign, it flourished, borrowing the strength and intelligence of a queen remembered in the heart of the king. The love of a mother for her son manifested as an immense force, reverberating across southern Africa, firmly establishing the kingdom as a dominant force that refused to bow down. In a world of might and power, a son's regality was born from a mother's unyielding love. Queen Nandi's love for Shaka was not just the nurturing cradle of his childhood, but the driving force that defined his rule. This unadulterated, fierce affection cast a profound influence on his life paving his path to becoming one of the greatest Zulu kings of all time. 
It was a mother's bond that toughened a young warrior's spirit, built a king's fortitude, and celebrated a leader's victories. Her loving counsel and wisdom shaped him, making him distinguishable amongst the leaders of his time. She was his first teacher, his prime advisor, and his most fervent cheerleader. Her love was not relegated to the confines of motherly instinct. It was a love that empowered and elevated, pushing boundaries to transform Shaka into a ruler of unsurpassed strength. It crafted tales of heroism that echoed through Zulu history. This ineffable bond is a luminous testament to the power of a mother's love, which is not merely nurturing, but powerfully life-altering. Nandi's love triumphantly underlines the extraordinary influence a mother wields in her child's life, even when that child is destined to become a great monarch like King Shaka. If you enjoyed this video and gained any value from it, please like this video, as it really helps spread awareness of this great story. It really helps the channel as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great stories of amazing people and majestic lands. Thanks for watching.